Good evening, it's Conspiracy Carl, it's Friday the 29th of October and it's 20, um, it's about 10, 10, 20 p.m. GMT time in the UK. Um, this video <laughs> was, <laughs> well, it goes back actually quite a few years back. Um, I first made this, uh, well, I didn't actually know, I, I'm not going to link it up until recently, but I, it, yeah, this all links up together. Um, firstly, thank you to my new new subscribers. Um, all subscribers, obviously, welcome. Do you know what I mean? As many as I can, because obviously my information is free. I don't charge. I never will do. And I don't beg, and I never want anything. So everything is coming from free for me. So you know. Anyway, I'm going to cut to the chase because this is quite important. Um, right, <laughs> how do I start this? Oh my god! Years back, um, I done some videos using some grapefruit juice and um, some uh, pure alcohol is a, a more gallons test for to see if I had more gallons right so um or this thing that we're thinking called more gallons right so anyway um I've done the test with this grapefruit with this grape juice um putting some alcohol and saw these little worms wiggling everywhere and I, I recorded it and put it on my channel so that's still there there's lots of videos showing exactly the same thing of people doing exactly the same as me um in all parts of the world so we have all been sprayed with this stuff we're not only sprayed with it they put it in our food they put it in our drink they put it in everything so there's no avoiding it okay we have all got it okay now I'm not sure if the you know the stab with a thing I'm not sure sure if that's an accelerant to it or something but there must be some sort of reason otherwise they wouldn't be making it mandatory they wouldn't be forcing it on people so it's got something to do with this okay now the link is basically the the, the stuff that i'm going to tell you about the these wormy things that was in this um stuff that you know i, I introduced alcohol to the more the more guns test um basically i i scooped out some of this wormy sort of thing after it you know deceased basically with the alcohol <laughs> don't know if it got drunk to death i don't care but anyway i got it out and i had it on a bit of tissue and i let it dry and looked at it under a, a, a high powered loop sort of thing when it was dry now i noticed that there was glitter on it gold bits of glitter and um, little blue, blue bits that look like of glitter but mainly goldy sort of colored part little particles i was seeing um, and anyway um so so later on, when, when now we're going back to you know to this current sort of time, I, we find out I find out this video about this thing called Hydra. Now um, Hydra was a, a in a Greek sort of god's time, like a Hercules fought Hydra, which was this like a lots of snake head sort of things on it, and, and every time he you know he, he clubbed it or whatever or destroyed one of the heads, and two would grow back. And he was cutting the heads off with one sword or whatever. And he, so he, he ended up getting a, some sort of special sword that I think it was given to him by his sister or something anyway. And she had given him this sword. And he had, um, this is the funny thing, he had, because uh, I'm going to say about this as well, okay. So there's a bit of something going on here. I don't know if it's disinfo or what, but there's something strange going on here. Because Hercules apparently, he um he had over his mouth when he was fighting this Hydra because it, the poisons it was giving off um, with cloth over his nose and over his mouth now um also when he was fighting this hydra he, he had to chop it down really really low right at the bottom part of the the snake to actually kill it to kill it sorry so um anyway he done this but like i say i've not a lot after after a lot of times of it multiplying now coming back to this sort of times current days we have this thing in the ocean called a hydra vulgaris now um biochemists and people like that they love these sort of things that they really you know like masturbates gates and things like that he loves these sort of things and uh basically it, they they is it looks like a tiny little palm tree sort of thing if you can imagine a tiny little water palm tree but it's sort of white see-through there's lots of videos about them on 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 the um on, on different websites uh different you know um domains you, you'll find if you look up hydro vulgaris you'll, you'll find what i'm talking about and um basically they they a water flea or something like that it would eat and if you was to get this hydro vulgaris and cut it up into a few pieces it starts to duplicate now this hydro vulgaris was found in one of the stab stabbies yeah yeah the one to begin with m 
And I've got to be careful about what I say for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, this hydrophene was found in one of them. How isn't that strange? Might be a reason why they have to keep it at such high, low, low temperatures. Keep this thing sort of capsulated. Because apparently these hydrophenes, they are actually in. Because what i done was I, I searched and put this into a search engine. I put nanotechnology in Hydra vulgaris. Yeah, so I put that into a search engine and see what comes up. In the first one, it's going to come up. It's going to say about gold nanoparticles. Yeah, <laughs> and that's exactly what I saw in the the video when I done this this test. Yes, this is the so-called Morgellons test. I believe it's this hydro hydro vulgaris. And the the funny thing is, is um, like I say, it's self replicating. So if you you can't kill it, basically. Um, now on a nano scale, you're going to get ten thousand nanoparticles into one blood cell. So there's no way that I'm believing on the you know. Uh, there's no way that I'm having that a bit of cotton can save you you know from from it going through because it's on a nano scale so you know cotton when it's made you have big holes and they'll, they'll just billions of them will fly through because it, it's that they're that small um but obviously they grow and this is what i believe is happening i i think the stabby stabby is an, an accelerant for these sort of things this is what i believe is going on um otherwise why would all these things be linking up now after all these years later not only that um I know that we we shouldn't really. I I, I'm not, I don't take a lot of truths out of, um, but you do see, you know, some clues that they give you in the TV programming. Because um, I'm going to tell you about one, especially called um, Altered Carbon. Uh, it's basically, I think it's on Netflix or something, one of these um, things anyway. But Altered Carbon, it was a show, I think it was on telly. But anyway, if you look at how that starts, so the very first program, the, how it starts, it starts with like a, what looks like a sort of blood cell sort of thing with what looks like a whole hydra vulgaris growing inside of it. And then it comes up with the, you know, the introduction to the, the program. So they're, they're putting this everywhere, you know, and it's, <laughs> it's obviously symbolic to them. Them. So uh, I, I do believe that this is part of their, their plan because they want, you know, this transhumanism thing. So this would make a lot of sense because they'd be put in sort of computer parts in a slowly bit by bit, um, hoping to make us like little receivers or little aerials, should I say, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, basically that's, that's what they want. They, they want us to be plugged into this matrix sort of thing. And um, yeah, it looks like that's the way we're going. And um, this video is checkable. And I please, 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 I implore, I implore you, please look it up and you know prove me wrong because it's everything that I'm saying to you is true and it's quite worrying really because like I say, all you've got to do is put into a search engine nanotechnology in Hydra vulgaris and you'll see it and it says gold pan nanoparticles exactly what I saw in that video exactly what a lot of you my subscribers have been writing to me and been speaking about so thank you for all that information from years back because now it's coming to light again with this so you know um, anyway, this is what I wanted to get out you can see why it's been quite hard because I know that we've all got it and this is the problem. Um, I myself, like I told you, I was stupid enough to get the stabby stabby, never again. Um, it was basically like they were blackmailing me. Um, I have a you know, family that were very ill, so to see them, I had to have that. And that was, yeah, so it's blackmail, like, like what they're doing with a lot of people to make it mandatory. You know, you know either I do this or otherwise out. <laughs> so it's not really mandatory, is it? That's like do it out well or no way. So it's do as you tell, basically. It's nothing mandatory about that. That's just, you know what I mean? That's orders. That's, um, you know, we had somebody else, or a few people tried to do that for history. You know, dictator thing, you know, it's one of them sort of things. Dictatorship. But anyway, listen, this, so this is what I needed to get out, and this is what I needed to share with all you. Please, please, please. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. But um, like I say, I don't charge, and I never will do. I never use adverts or anything like that. I don't believe in all that rubbish. And um, like I say, all my my only goal is to to get the truth out there. I don't use a script, as you probably noticed. Um, I never have and never will. So I, I think I've used a note thing once, and I didn't really get on with it great anyway. But I, I like to talk straight from the heart, and the only way to do that is 
to do it like this so all mistakes included everything's included you know so that way you you know it's coming from truth not from something that's been wrote wrote down and some somebody's reading it and that's it you know so yeah it's, it's this way i find his best way to get out of truth so anyway like i say love peace unity goes out to each and every single one of you thank you for my subscribers like i say if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um also if you could be kind enough to give me a like because basically it just gets the video out to be seen by more people and i think this is quite an important subject that people need to hear so i'll be grateful if any of you could do that that'd be that'd be brilliant anyway like i say love peace unity goes out to each and every single one of you remember unite don't fight it doesn't matter about what color we are we're all the same underneath okay but you've just got some bad ones and some good ones okay um well, that's good ones we've got to stick together remember this please unite don't fight love peace unity goes out to each and every single one here i'm out conspiracy Cole.